Yeah, behind me is one of three neighborhoods that could become an overlay district, allowing homes to turn into things like triplexes. Now, if passed, the city of Edmond says this proposal would bring more housing diversity into downtown. I think there is a, a thought that this means the city is going to go in and take property or build things. We are not doing any of that. Three neighborhoods in downtown Edmond woke up to this letter in their mailbox or on their door. The city's newest proposal to address Edmond's affordable housing crisis. So within these overlay areas, it would allow these homeowners, if they so desire, to build an accessory dwelling unit or potentially turn their property into duplex, triplex, quadplex if it fits with, within that. Chitwood, Rossmore, and Highland Park areas could become overlay districts if passed by the Planning Commission and City Council. This comes after a study found 75% of Edmond workers can't afford to live there. Whether they're family members, whether they're students, uh, whether they're workers that uh, can't afford a certain price point, the more of these units that we have available, uh, the more that we can provide for all of the needs in our community. The heated debate sparked an interest from the Oklahoma Housing Finance Agency and Oklahoma Policy Institute hold a town hall Wednesday. We are close to 83,000 units short statewide of attainable housing. The agencies hope to educate on the crisis and listen to both sides of the aisle. People have this idea of what a minimum age earner is, and it's not that teenage person that is just trying to pay a bill to have a car to drive in school. It could be a mom working three minimum wage jobs trying to put a roof over her kid's head. Now tomorrow's town hall will take place at Edmonds UCO campus at 6 p.m. For more details, you can follow that story on our website at koco.com.